Hello, this is the Radio Geek, and today for you I have another radio, a little pocket radio. This is a, uh, a Sony ICF P26. It's an AM FM radio. I actually found this one at Walmart of all places. Didn't think they sold anything uh, made by Sony anymore in stores. Um, Looks like he's got some additional barcodes here. Uh, uh, POS barcode. Um, hopefully that stands for point of sales and not the other acronym. <laughs> we'll find out when we open it up, I guess. Um, but yeah, so this here is the Sony uh, ICF P26. So we'll, uh, we'll get it open here and uh, see what it's all about. It, uh, Looks like a smaller uh, eh, shirt pocket baseball game radio type thing. Ah, look at that. It's got the hand strap that's not installed on the radio. And just some instructions and a piece of foam in there. And there we go. Look at that. Ooh, the black beauty. Look at that. That's kind of interesting it kind of sits on the back of its antenna so it's kind of kind of an angle like this when it sits on its back it kind of bulges out oh. oh it's got something here it tells you how you take uh, how to use the antenna um, you don't lift it straight out and you don't go to the left with it it says you gotta go to the right and pivot it around so apparently, if you don't know that, you'll break your antenna trying to get it to go in a direction that it's not supposed to go. Um, this radio runs on a couple of um, AA batteries, which I've installed already. And it's kind of nice. This has got a, a battery case. The, the lid stays connected to the radio, so um, you can't lose that, which that's, that's kind of a nice thing. Um, just a couple of... Uh, uh, double A's there, and uh, today we're using Texas double A alkaline batteries. You know, I uh, never heard of that brand before, and I can't remember where I bought them, but I thought that was such an unusual name, I had to try them out. Okay, on the side of the radio here, you've got uh, the tuning knob here and your band selection switch. You see there AM, FM, and it also is the power switch. The off position, the AM position, and the FM position. And the front of the radio, you just have your standard FM band, 88 to 108, and AM from 530 to 1700. And it does have a, a bat and tune here, and it has LEDs. So when you turn the radio on, a little green LED comes on right by the bat that tells you that it's got power to the radio, so you don't accidentally leave it on, I suppose. And then when you tune in a strong station, the red LED will come on where it says tune over here. On this side, you have volume control and the headphone jack. And nothing on the top except for it says uh, FM AM radio ICF P26. And on the bottom, it's kind of got some stuff here on the bottom as far as, uh, you know, Sony, Made in China, model number, that sort of stuff. Um, it, it does sit pretty flat, so that's good if you're going to listen to it that way. But, boy, that antenna poking out like that is just kind of weird, isn't it? It doesn't, like, fall into the body or next to it or something. It's, uh, it's It just kind of sticks out there. I don't know if I'm, if I'm liking that too much, but um, it's a detractive radio. It looks nice. It looks like the top part is a, a glossy and uh, the bottom part is more of a matte. It's got a you know, pretty good decent speaker for that size radio I suppose. I suppose it might be um, an inch and a half in diameter maybe uh, maybe two inches. Um, it's, uh, it's rather light um, not terribly heavy not like the old transistor radios anyway. I, I have the um, the Sony ICF S10 MK2. Well, that rolls off your tongue. 
this guy here and I believe this guy here is the replacement for this they discontinued this guy some time ago and uh, I would say they're pretty close in the size department you know as far as size and and thickness maybe maybe the predecessor was a little thinner but look at the look at the uh, antennas on here this one fits right into the back of the case on the side and when you lay the radio down it lays down nice and flat where this one doesn't it's just kind of sticks up and I don't know I'm thinking this is the better way to go myself but um, the other difference is um, the battery door um, comes off so you can lose the battery door on this guy and I believe if I remember correctly the hand strap was, or wrist strap was already attached so um, that would be the differences it just has a tuning LED it doesn't tell you um, when the radio is on there's no power uh, indicator uh, it has a, a band AM and FM like that one ex like the new one except for there's that's not where the power is on and off it's um, connected to the volume control on off is over there so there's just a few uh, slight differences nothing too drastic it does look different and like I say it um, uh, the new one looks a little bit a uh, little bit richer you know but I that antenna boy they should have just left it the way they did this one I think but but uh, anyway we're not here to talk about that one we're here to talk about this one so let's turn it on and let's see what we can find tonight well, um, we'll do an FM band scan, I guess, uh, first. So let me get the uh, the antenna up here and see what we can find. Now, put it on FM. Yep. Gonna have to position the antenna here. Okay, so we've got the power on, so the bat light is on. And when we tune and we hit a station and it picks it up strong, it should see the tuning indicator come on down here. There's the tuning light on. Thing to devote his gift to. He could have gone all over the country. The swiftest messenger of grace. But what did he do with this gift? He wasted it. On those things, I'm like, man, Sounds you know, Scottish. With an obsession with things will fall away. And he's like, okay, all right, that, that makes sense. So I'm, I'm go we're going. And before the last road at 99. So there's a quick scan of the uh, FM band there. So 
it did pretty good. Picked up quite a few stations, and uh, you know, it didn't sound bad. It sounded okay. Um, so yeah, not too bad. Uh, now we'll try the uh, the AM band and see what we can pick up here. Guess we're gonna. Let me just go ahead and bring it um, all the way back to the lower part, and we'll work our way up. Sounds like 650. That's pretty good. Uh, this fall, I will be at MSG Network uh, in New York City. Uh, I want to show, can't say the name, but uh, I will be starting television this fall. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. How can people hear you, see you, what platforms you're on? Break it all down for them so they follow and they're along for the ride with you. First and foremost, follow me on Twitter at Scoop B. I love debates, I love conversation. Paris, Mexico are going to let them come because they don't want to be their social safety net. They don't want to provide them. Yes for the good one, uh, no for the less effective ones. Gotcha. The less effective one is a one dose. Um, and then... Now that's um, 10:30. The BBZ, and it's showing it at being right about at a thousand, which so it's a little bit off the dial, is anyway. Right to a guy who's smart. He, he doesn't have the ability to make the play. The audience and the Russians. 
and, and by uh, Assad, who was praised by Hillary Clinton. It's all bad. But how come some murders have this kind of uh, media attention and others do not? Let's continue your calls. As we do, we're going to go to uh, Josh and Kim and John and J.D. and Lee and many others. If the line ever becomes available, 877-381-3811. Bill Cunningham, the great American, and for the great one, Mark Levin. Headlines at the top and 30 past the hour. Reactions and commentary in between. Totally agree on that, and thanks for taking my call. On News Radio 1140 WRBA. Did you know when you buy a diamond at Diamond Street? There you go. It's facing out you. And um, uh, and the only way for us to get it to you really is is to do that. I mean, I guess we can post it on our website. Building in a while, it was uh, just about everything you could go. Uh, at this point. Get up to one hundred twenty-five dollars off at HelixSleep.com. Breaking ball. With startup problems with spring rolling. We remind you that there are only to verify that you are on the bonus list. Call 4163. Small is carry on and exist in the tiniest space. However, the reality. Oh, well, there you go. Not too shabby. It uh, it did pretty well. Um, I'd say it's a pretty decent uh, performing uh, pocket radio. Um, it's uh, just under twenty dollars. I think it was nineteen dollars and like eighty eight cents at Walmart. And I'm sure you can get them on Amazon and other places as well. I guess uh, I'd say I like it. It's nice. It's it looks nice. It uh, performs well. I like the the uh, LEDs, the tuning LED, um, letting you know that you have a strong station when you're tuning in. The only thing I really don't like is that antenna sticking up like that, because you know maybe it wouldn't be such a big deal if I had never seen this one before. But um, this one just I I don't know why they would change that design. I really don't. But um, it, it this one performs really well too. Um, I'd say they're on par with each other, you know, as far as radios go. Um, I haven't really messed with it extensively to see what kind of really weak stations I could pull in, but uh, you heard a few um, uh, semi DX type stations there, and it seemed to do well. Um, the sound isn't too bad um, for you know a pocket radio. But uh, all in all, I'd say it's a really nice, uh, nice radio. And if you're looking for a smaller radio to carry around with you that will perform well and uh, pick up your AM stations pretty decently, I'd say this one is a, a nice one to get. It's the ICF P26. Thanks for joining me for the little tour. Until next time, this is the Radio Geek.